the Premier League, the holy grail of English football, the grand stage where dreams can be made and also shattered. In the opening season of the Premier League there were 22 teams that started this brand new era of English football and Blackburn Rovers were one of them. Now fast forward 25 years and we've just been promoted from the third tier of English football. After years of turmoil, Rovers have finally turned a massive corner as they try to get themselves back to the promised land. But wait! Venkis, the Barmy owners who have caused chaos since their arrival, have yet made another bonkers move by replacing crowd favourite Tony Mowbray with this haphazard clown as manager. Can this rookie steer Rovers to the great beyond? Or will his lack of knowledge and experience track Rovers to football obscurity once again? Now with this clown in charge, there'll be tears. Laughter and of course plenty of drama. Join me as we try to make Blackburn Rovers great again. Hello folks, welcome back to episode number two of my Blackburn Rovers game save with Football Manager 2019. It's called Make Rovers Great Again, boys and girls. Now, if you're new to the channel, where the heck have you been? And make sure you hit the old subscribe button to keep your bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Football Manager 2019 related, world football related. We've got it all here under one roof. And let's try and bring you up to speed of what's been going on since you were last with me. Obviously, the new season is yet to kick off. I've just done a few preseason games and I've made a few purchases. Some good, some not too good. But we'll have a look at it. First and foremost, still got the preseason. Pretty good preseason. We opened up with a nil-nil draw against the old under-23 squad. See how we can fare. Then we took on Bordeaux. That is their top division side right there. We won one nil. Uh, we took on Rochdale. We won four-two. Before we took on Mickelover. Not even sure who they are. I think they're a lower league English club. Four nil as well winners. Uh, then we took on Wasteland Brevren. I think they're Belgian. Two nil winners in there. Uh, then I took on PEC Schwoller, and we won three nil there. And then we took on Accrington Stanley, and we won. Oh, we didn't win. We drew 1-1. Last minute dot com penalty, I think. Um, if I recall. No, it wasn't a penalty. Um, but they scored a last minute. Scrap it. It, was a, it was a penalty. But then the rebound they took and they scored. Anyway, let's bring it up to speed with some of the ins and the outs in the transfer scenario. So I have made a couple of additions. We'll look at those in a minute. But the uh, transfer's going out. We've got Joe Nuttall's gone to Dundee United on loan. Uh, hopefully he can score some goals for himself to get himself into my reckoning for maybe next season. And Jack Doyle's gone to Doncaster. So that's League One football for him. Uh, 21 years old. Make or break season for him. But the ins. Guys coming in. Obviously all this lot was done by my director. Director of Football, Tony Mowbray, uh, Rothwell, Rodwell, Adam Armstrong, Jacob, Jacob Davenport, Harrison Reed on loan, Casey Palmer on loan, Baron Brereton on loan with a mu move to make it permanent. That's that's happening. Uh, and then I brought some of these guys. Now, this guy, he's only here on trial, so his trial's coming to an end. Uh, I don't think it's going to get renewed. I don't know. I might offer him a season, but 20 years old, he's got nothing left to get excited about. And then we've got this guy from Manchester United on loan. I've tried to pick up some other players on loan, but the wage demands of some of these kids was absolutely bonkers. Now, he's an okay player. Gives me options on the right-hand side as well as on the left. Should we, should we go the 18-year-old? Is he a Dutchie? Um, yeah, from Holland. Um, so he's a tight looking player. Then we've got this guy, uh, Bosnian. Uh, he's a youngster in the under-23s. He is 19 years old, so he's got a little bit of room to get. Look, formerly of Udinese, so he must be pretty tidy. Overall, he's not a bad-looking player, so hopefully he can make the grade in a season or two. Uh, then we brought in Patrick Bauer. I, I had a chat with Mowbray. We sat down and I had a cup of tea together. And he said, I think I made a mistake on this one. I should have picked him up when I was manager. So I picked him up, and he is our centre-back cover Um for the club. Now there is rumours that Downing is on his way out on loan to Preston North End. So that makes sense. Gives Bauer an opportunity to, to uh, stamp on the door. And then I'll go to my main signing in a second. But then I got this guy, Ricardo Conte. Now he was on loan just like the other kid, but he's 19 years of age. Luna's butted a nose in right here. Bless her little sock. She's falling off the off the thing over there. Formerly of Napoli. Um, I've given him one season deal to try and show me what he's got in the under-23s to maybe improve and get a, a, a longer-term deal. Anyway, but this guy is my main man, 19-year-old Danish fella. Uh, 2.5 million, could go as high as five stars. He was highly recommended. Um, so I decided to do, uh, jump in the deep end with this kid. Good mentals, reasonably good physicals as well. And under the good tutelage of myself and my, my staff, we could maybe get him in the old Danish setup. He's in the under 21s setup at the moment. So defender, midfield center as well. Defensive midfielder. He could dabble all over the place. So he's a good uh, Mr. Universe for us. We didn't really improve our strikers. Um, 
And depending on what goes on the next day or two, I think what we have is what we're going to use. So here we are, folks, with the first game of the video and the first game of the series. That's right, up against Ipswich Town. Now, this is following the same sort of pattern that the real season is going uh, on in the real world. Now, Tony Mowbray opened up with a, I think it was a 0-0 draw or a 1-1 draw. Or, well, he opened up with a draw anyway against Ipswich. So hopefully we can either equal that or better it. Um, so let's kick it off with the first game of the season. Now, before we get into the start of it, this is going to be my starting lineup. I have... I've got some reservations about some of these, but I'm, I'm going with it. So uh, we have got Ryan Gold, Williams, Mulgrew, Lenahan, and Nayimbi back for no real question marks there. And then into the midfield, we've got Reed, Harrison Reed, and Nelson gets the start, the old Danish star. They have Armstrong on the left, Palmer in midfield, Brereton on the right, Samuel up top. Where's Dak? I hear you cry. Well, he got himself injured. I'll just show you that uh, before we are. Uh, uh, yeah, he's out for a little bit. Bradley Dak out for. Uh, another couple more weeks, two more weeks, and then he'll be back with us. Um, but anyway, this is the starting lineup, and hopefully we can get uh, a point. Uh, Bauer doesn't get a, get a look in at the moment. Uh, on the bench is Graham, Rothwell, Travis, amongst others. Okay, quick look at the Ipswich team here. Any standouts? Nolan, obviously, this is Hurst's. Some of Hurst's signings it is. Lambert is in charge, so he'll know the ins and outs of Rovers. A couple of debuts. One, two, three, four debuts for us. Palmer, Brereton, Reed, and Nelson. See how we get on in our first game of the season. Okay, top-down look at Portman Road as the players get themselves together. Last-minute chats, and here we go. Ipswich kicking us off. Ultimately, um, I don't know what my, my, my plans are. I want to see how we get on the first few games of the season. Mulgrew, free kick. Nelson with a header. Good little link-up play already. But yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'm just hoping at least to, to stay in the division and not have any nightmares. Nyimbi on the right-hand side. Broken down. Gets another go at it. Palmer back to Nyimbi. Lovely pace. Good cross. Fumble. And Armstrong gets the first goal of the season, boys and girls. First goal. The campaign has begun. Nice bit of build-up play. Nyimbi here on the right-hand side. Gets past his man eventually. Whips the cross in. Bit of a bit of a howler by the keeper. But Armstrong is there. Armstrong scored a hat-trick in his... Uh, one of his uh, friendlies, so that was pretty tidy. Um, yeah, we're still trying to get the old the familiar setup here with the look of things and, and all that kind of stuff. So this is uh, be worked worked upon over the weekend. Uh, new games daily, boys and girls. New games daily. Every 5 o'clock UK time. Oh, well, if you're elsewhere in the world, um, uh, you're going to have to do the math. Okay, so that is the halftime whistle. So far, so good. Let's see how we get on in half number two. Okay, second half gets underway and Rovers kicking us off. Yeah, I did start with Samuel up top, which um, I will elaborate on that in a minute. Once there is a break of play, which there is right now. So in the Newcastle save, I did a beta save and Samuel ended up being pretty good goal scoring dude. So I was like, hang on a minute, maybe I should play him. So I'm giving him a couple of games to see how he, how he, how he fares. Raya with the boot towards Samuel. Brereton, Nielsen, Reed over the top for Samuel on cue, son. On cue. That would have been absolutely perfect, but it goes out. Free kick, Mulgrew. Special. But a good effort there. Good save by the keeper as well. Throw it, Nyimbi. Nelson, back to Nyimbi. And Samuel is there. He nearly nugget in there, but no joy. Not really changing too much, right? I just, I have that syndrome where you touch stuff. And it all goes wrong. Armstrong, Reed, Palmer, Nelson, Nayimbi. Get a cross in, son. Oh, that was Samuel. Well wide. Mulgrew, corner. Say hoi. On me, son. On me. Pop it in there. Oh, Samuel now cleans up. We're down to the last sec couple seconds. And there it is. Day one. Win number one. Excellent start to the season for Rovers. So after the first set of matches, we are sitting comfortably in fifth spot at the moment. We did give Paul Lambert a debut to forget. Obviously, at home, Portman Road. So that's a little bit of sweet justice, maybe. I've got no disrespect for Lambert. He's an all right kind of guy, but kind of, kind of you know, ran scared, didn't he, from Ewood? So I don't know if I showed you this in the opening episode, but this is a quick look at the uh, the odds and expectations of a uh, bit of a roundup, really, of the championship. Now, we are we're predicted to finish 17th with a uh, promotion shot of 42 to 1 to win the whole stinking thing. This is the team of the season, or the Media Dream 11, and there's no Rovers in there whatsoever. Uh, the new managers I'm in there with, alongside Thomas Frank, Lampard, and Dean Smith. Key players, 
Um, Braddy Dag is in there, so is Darren Lenehan. Um, so, yeah, we're in there. So, we're, we're, we're cutting the mustard a little bit. But let's see how we get on in our second game up against Millwall. So, here we are, folks. Up against Millwall. Our first game or first home game of the season. So, hopefully, we can continue where we left off against Ipswich. And maybe, just maybe, pick up another win and give us a right good old start to the season. So, a couple changes to the last lineup. Uh, Raya remains in goal. Williams, Mulgrew, Lennon and Naomi. Uh, same back four. Reed as Nelson still in the centre mid. Armstrong, Rothwell gets the nod. Brereton as well. And Big DG up top. So, my Dominic Samuel theory right now is on hold. Uh, so, we'll see how this lot get on against Millwall at Ewood. Okay, quick look at the team for Millwall. Couple of standouts. Tunnicliff X Rover. Um, Romero, right back, Gregory Bradshaw. Yeah, it's a very, very British 11. Um, so let's see how we get on. Let's hopefully we can get another win. Okay, here we are, packed out Ewood Park. I don't even know if we're packed out, but... Okay, it's not really packed out, but a... a uh, they're there, the people are there, watching the old game here. Rovers against Millwall. Free kick, all the doors for Millwall, and put Raya under a bit of pressure, but eventually cleared by Mulgrew. The VAR suggests no goal. So early bit of pressure by Millwall. Will we see the best of Ben Brereton? Naimbi. Rothwell. Naimbi. Willock gets the ball. Hoofs it clear. Lenahan. Reed. Fouled. Here comes Millwall. No, it's broken up now. Rovers. Naimbi. Rothwell. Slips it in. Armstrong. Nearly. Nearly. Put the keeper under a little bit of pressure. Goes off of the corner. Mulgrew will take it. Pinged in there by Amos. Collects it. And that is that flip side. Millwall on the other hand. And Sean Williams has scored our first. Goal against us, and here it is in a bit of a slow mo. Wallace pings it in there. Bad defended by Nielsen, my main man. What are you doing? I've already upset him already, by the way. Um, I was supposed to bring in some more players, but I just I didn't have any money, so and nobody, you know. I brought in Bauer, Patrick Bauer. Anyway, corner, other hand, other side. Rothwell strikes Mulgrew. Oh, my goodness gracious. 23 minutes gone, and we're losing, which is not. It's not great. It's, it's definitely not great. 30 odd minutes gone. Here we go. Mulgrew, Williams over the top. Graham, 1 1 with the keeper. Oh my goodness. It looks like he took a nick though. Be a corner, and Mulgrew's on it. Pings the ball in there. Armstrong tries to get amongst it, but Amos once again with his hands claims it. Free kick. I do not believe it. Sean Williams gets his second goal of the day. 2 0 up now. What a calamity. What a calamity. In the middle of the park. Gets his nugget on it. And Raya was nowhere near. And we're 2-0 down at the break. So much need improvement in the second half. So second half has under has started now. I made a little bit of a change. I brought Graham off for Lewis Travis. Uh, we've gone for a uh, the strikerless formation. Which I've talked about. Um, I hopefully I talked about it earlier. Um, hopefully that's going to prove pivotal. Here up against Millwall. Because right now we are under the cosh. 2 0 down, 30, 60 minutes gone, 30 left on the clock. Nelson, Rothwell, Williams, pings across him, gets another go at it. Nielsen with an effort, the Danish youngster, puts it wide. Amos with the goal kick though. Travis, Naomi, Brereton, Nelson, Rothwell. If it was Dak, that would have probably been in the back of the net. Reed, Williams, still not over, now it's over. Corner, Mulgrew, Nelson does get a goal indeed. 2-1 now, boys. Hanging on in there. Now, if we could just get a second. There it is. Come on, boys. 20 minutes to go. Find it. Find that missing something. Romero, back to the keeper. Amos, under a little bit of pressure. What was that? The VAR? A VAR? Tackled by Armstrong. Pace now. Rothwell. Can he get it? Sets up Brereton. No. Nelson. Over the top for Naimi. A little bit of lag on machine. Gets a cross in. No. Reed. Keep it going. It's bumbled in there. It is bumbled in there. Jiri Skalak has put Rovers back in this game. 2 2 with 15 minutes to go. Can we just find some more? Demand more. Demand more. We're holding on tight, boys and girls. Last few minutes. This would be an okay start. I, mean, I know ideally we should be winning our home games. But Mowbray didn't win this one. So I'm, I'm telling you that now. To come from 2-0 down. Mulgrew to Nelson. 
to Nyimbi. He's got an injury, but hey, that is the final whistle, boys and girls. So we remain unbeaten. Victor Nelson with his first goal. In front of the home faithful, they're loving him already. After match day number two with the championship, this is what the table looks like. We are sitting in ninth spot, four points from impossible six. Not too shabby. And we've played one game less than Middlesbrough and West, West Brom, and they've got five points to the name. So, so far, so good. Now, that's going to wrap up this episode. In the next one, we're going to plough forward into the month of September, I believe. So, we could come back for the Bristol City Aston Villa games. Uh, that's probably a, uh, maybe the Villa Derby. Uh, some close games. Games that are too close together. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Because if you did, make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. It does wonders for the old uh, YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the old subscribe button, baby. We have a new Football Manager 2019 video each and every day with Blackburn Rovers. As we try to make them great again. Until I see you again, thumbs up, subscribe. I'm out. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date. With all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>